Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I have known Randy for a long time. Uh, we taught together at a local state university for many years. Uh, after he retired from teaching at the art department, he became a full-time painter. Uh, Randy's work has a strong following. Uh, he told me that he paints every day, seven days a week. Uh, for him, that is his ideal lifestyle. Uh, Randy enjoyed living alone, but he said that cooking for one person is a challenge. So he ended up eating a lot of fast and processed food, uh, to the point that uh, he hardly cooked at all. Uh, this probably would not have been a problem if Randy had not been gaining weight since his retirement, and he did not feel good about what he was eating. Uh, this is when Randy adopted my fast cooking system. Uh, Randy now cooked all his meals, and he cooked seven days a week. He told me that he used to think cooking was a chore, and now cooking turned out to be relaxation for him. In fact, every time when he walked into the kitchen, he feel refreshed and renewed. Randy told me that the fast cooking system has changed his life. He not only feel better physically, but he also feel psychologically more uplifting. Able to take control of the food that he put into his body, he feel that he actually also take better control of his life. Uh, Randy told me that the most important factor uh, in cooking for one person is organization. He said advanced prepping of the fast cooking system is probably the most important driving force for him to be able to successfully cook for himself. Uh, he gave me an example of this meal that he cooked recently. Uh, for this meal, he's going to cook two dishes. Uh, the first dish is a vegetable medley with cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, carrot, and mushroom. Uh, the second dish is an egg dish with the shrimp encrusted with fermented black soybean. Uh, he told me that he cooked these two dishes in 20 minutes, which is uh, from the time he stepped foot in the kitchen to the time when the food uh, is served on the table. Uh, he said the reason that he could do this so quickly is because he have all the preps ready for him. It took him about five minutes to go through the refrigerator uh, to some find some carrot that are already thinly sliced, and then he found some uh, Brussels sprouts that also have already been cut to the size for stir frying. And next, he come up with some uh, cauliflower also ready to go. And uh, finally, he found some white mushroom that has been sliced. And next, he went into the freezer and he took some shrimp and put them in a bowl of warm water for them to be thawed out. And next, he beat up some eggs that he's going to cook with the shrimp. And the last thing he needs is some scallions that has already been chopped. Uh, Randy told me that all this took him a little bit over five minutes. Uh, he told me that in the beginning, it took a little bit time for him to get used to uh, to be able to find everything he wants. And now his refrigerator is well organized, and he really enjoy the efficiency. Uh, Randy used the type of containers that I recommended to him that uh, have the same footprint, so they can stack neatly on top of each other in the refrigerator. Uh, they are see-through containers, so he can easily locate what he needs. Uh, Randy cooked with a Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. Uh, he finds this wok to be most versatile uh, because he uses it for almost everything he does in the kitchen. Uh, Randy used canola oil in the stir-frying uh, for both of its economical and health values. Uh, the first dish he is going to cook is the vegetable medley. Uh, this gives time for the shrimp to thaw out. Randy said cooking the vegetable medley is very simple. It is based on a simple vegetable stir-fry template. He said that he has done it so many times, he could do it in his sleep. However, by using different combination of vegetables, as well as the ratio of the ingredients, he could create many different variations. 
And consequently, he never gets bored what he is cooking. Uh, in this vegetable valley, he used a combination of carrot, cauliflower, and Brussels sprout. All of those are his favorite vegetables. Uh, he starts cooking them at about the same time uh, because they take about the same amount of time to cook. Uh, Randy is very careful not to use too much cooking oil. He used just enough to coat all the vegetables in the wok. At this point, he cooked them under high heat. Uh, this will ensure the Mela reaction to take place as well as to create caramelization as well as some charring of the ingredients. Uh, this provides better flavor and frequently referred to as wok chi. Uh, by this time, Randy decided that the vegetables in the wok has achieved the texture that he was looking for. Uh, next, he added the white mushroom, uh, which he wanted to cook them slightly uh, to maintain their flavor and texture. Uh, after stir-frying for another 30 to 40 seconds, uh, he concluded that the dish is done. Uh, with the four different kinds of vegetables in this dish, it is very flavorful already. Uh, but Randy decided that he's going to add a little bit of oyster sauce to enhance the natural flavor. Uh, Randy set this dish aside. Uh, the total cook time is a little bit under 10 minutes. He's now ready to cook the shrimp and egg dish. Uh, by this time, the shrimp was thawed. Uh, Randy dried the shrimp uh, to remove any excess fluid. Uh, he then uh, coated the shrimp with a thin layer of cornstarch. Uh, together with black fermented soybeans, uh, red chili pepper flakes, as well as some seasonings. Uh, the next, uh, Randy uh, heat up the wok and he fried some egg that are lightly scrambled. Uh, this worked extremely in the wok and uh, it took him less than a couple minutes. Uh, this will form the foundation of this dish. Uh, Randy then set the egg aside uh, on a plate. Uh, Randy put the wok back on the stove. Now he is going to fry the shrimp uh, by shallow frying them. Uh, by frying the shrimp separately from the egg, Randy has much better control of the texture uh, of the shrimp. He fried the shrimp on one side first, and then he turned them over to fry the other side. Uh, this will give the shrimp a very nice, light, crispy breading. Uh, Randy loves fermented black soybean. Uh, with them encrusted onto the surface of the shrimp, it makes the shrimp really delicious. Uh, in about a couple minutes, the shrimp is ready and Randy placed them on top of the eggs. Uh, next, he garnished the dish with some chopped scallions. A uh, total cook time of this dish is less than 6 minutes. Uh, for dinner, Randy ate one third of these two dishes uh, with rice. I think this morning, uh, he will use the egg and shrimp to make a breakfast taco. At lunch, uh, Randy will eat the vegetables with some pasta that he already has in the refrigerator. Uh, both meals uh, take him less than five minutes to prepare. Uh, Randy told me that with template-based cooking, uh, he can create many variations of this basic scheme. He told me that he actually never go out to eat anymore. Uh, the primary reason is that he really enjoy what he cooked for himself. Uh, however, more importantly, he know what he puts into his body. Uh, he now eats whatever he wants and his weight has dropped. And it has been maintained what he likes without even trying. Uh, Randy told me that uh, please let your viewer know uh, that you can cook wonderful meals for one person. Uh, just stay organized uh, with flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking of the fast cooking system. I post a video every day to help people to learn more about my fast cooking system. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to adopt this cooking system. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.